believed it was a wonderful special play that represents really the best of the kind of work that Manhattan Theatre Club has prided itself on doing for close to four decades now. It's been a great creative, collaborative process with Lee Hall, the playwright, and with Max Roberts, the director. This is a, a group of people who were in the height of the Depression, um, making something extraordinary um, with absolutely no money, with um, everything pitted against them economically, uh, industrially. And it seemed like quite an inspiring story for me about the times that we are now involved with. This is a... Um it's an incredible experience. It's, you know, a few minutes ago, I'm standing in front of 650 people who are on their feet and clapping, and they've had a great night, and we've had a great night, and um, oh, we're going to enjoy it now. This is, this is it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's, a, it's the best time, it's, it's the best thing for an actor in the world. It must be. I mean, you're on Broadway, you've just made your Broadway debut, and, and thankfully, they, they really seem to have liked it, and that's just got It's a wonderful feeling, wonderful. I think they enjoy this story because I think they recognise how remarkable it was for a group of coal miners in Ashington, a very small town in the northeast of England in the 1930s, to become quite famous as artists. What do we paint, Oliver? Moments. We paint those little tiny moments of being alive, of life. The story is such a big universal story that I think the American audiences seem to be taking it to their hearts in a way that English audiences do. But isn't it, is it not an American story? It seems to me it is. Isn't it, isn't it about the little man wanting to reach something that everybody says he's not allowed to reach? So we get more laughs in New York than we ever had in London. Really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, people, people get it here completely, from the get-go. It's just been so incredible. It's surreal and so exciting. I mean, it's just been a joy being here and being at the, the Freeman Theatre. It's just been so welcomed to this, you know, and, and just having a, a wonderful time doing this wonderful play by a wonderful writer, having an absolutely amazing time. It's just like a dream come true, it really is. The piece has now landed. The play itself has now landed, and it's landed in a wonderful room, in a, in a wonderful space, which just seems to suit that piece so, so, so well. The script's brilliant, the production is a joy to be in, the character is a, an absolute ball to play. Uh, so uh, you'd have to take a, uh, what do you call it, a jemmy or a crowbar? You'd have to take one of those to get me away from it at the moment. The audience response has been amazing. So I think, I think we've, we've got it right, hopefully. I hope so. The honour to be involved in a play where people come and say, this has been my finest night in the theatre ever, I've never had so much fun, and I'm going to take up painting again, or go back visiting galleries. I mean, you know, that makes life worth living. That's worth getting up for in the morning, isn't it?